Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com here again. I recently did a video about some of the hidden user interface things you can find in the Fusion CAD. I thought I would do another video since that one was fairly well received on things you can do in the Fusion CAM side of the software. And if you didn't see the video, go ahead, I'll post a link right here, a card. You can go ahead and click on that and check that uh, video out on the CAD side. What I have here is a fairly simple part. Um, I've created a setup. If we look at the setup, you can see where my work coordinate system is located in the stock. In this case, I'm not too concerned about the stock. I'm, I'm more concerned about showing you selection techniques. And if we look at this part, it's fairly simple. Uh, it has a cut going through the bottom and a cut going through the top. And that's what's going to help us learn some selection techniques here. The goal with this is to take a half inch end mill and make a contour pass around the outside. So from the 2D menu, I'm going to choose 2D Contour. I'm going to go select a tool, and I'm going to grab a tool from the Tutorial Inch library that you all should have. I'm going to choose the half inch flat, and I'm going to go to the Geometry tab. When I get to the Geometry tab, you'll notice that everything that I select, Fusion wants to grab a ring of geometry or an edge of geometry, but it's not the right ring or edge of geometry. I can grab it then top, the bottom, whatever, but it's not getting me the results that I want. Now what I could do, is I could switch back to model and I could create a sketch on this face. I'm going to go to sketch, project, include, and project. Now I could simply start clicking on the different edges that I want to appear in my sketch. So we'll grab that and that and that edge. Sorry, this part's kind of boring as I go around and select the different parts of the geometry that I want to be included in my sketch. We'll grab this and I think we just have one more. I'm going to undo that. I didn't want that last one in there. Okay, so I think we're good. I'm going to turn off the body, and there you can see that I have a sketch going around there. So now, if I switch back to cam, again, I can do a 2D contour. Grab the tool, the half inch flat, and this time for the geometry, I can grab the sketch ring right there. And you can see it grabbed it. And on the heights tab, I can say I want to cut from the model top to the model bottom. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And now there you can see we get a contour that goes around the outside of the part. However, what I don't like about this is I had to create a sketch just for the purposes of machining. Uh, I won't say you'll never have to do that, but I try to avoid this whenever I can. So I'm going to delete this toolpath. I'm going to switch back over to model. I'm just going to go to my sketches folder. Stop that sketch, I guess. I'm going to go back to the sketches folder, right click on that, and say delete. And we'll switch back over to cam. Now this time I'm going to show you how to use some selection tools to make this easier. So from the 2D menu, I'm going to choose 2D contour. We're going to grab a tool, a half inch flat, and I click OK. Again, we're going to go back to the geometry. Again, it's only going to let me select the different regions, and that's OK. All we have to do is choose one of the regions. So I'm going to click on that once. You'll see all the edges turn blue. And the trick here is you can go move your mouse over any part of this geometry. And when you do, it'll turn red. When you see that, go ahead and left click on that. So I'm going to left click. Now we get a new user interface that pops up, kind of a pop up here. And it wants to know, do I want to do a closed contour, an open contour? In this case, I want to do a closed contour, but I want to choose a different closed contour than what Fusion selected for me. So you notice as I move my mouse around, Fusion starts to path to where my mouse is. So if I highlight my mouse over that edge, that's the boundary that I actually want to get. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on that. And the very important step here is to make sure to hit the green plus once you've got the selection set right. So I'm going to go ahead and click the green plus. And there you can see it's going to grab that ring of geometry. I didn't have to create any sketch and I was able to chain around up and down in the Z level to get the geometry that I wanted to. Now I'm going to move over to the heights tab and we're going to cut from model top and we're going to go down to model bottom. We could go a little bit past if we want to so I'm going to say minus 0.03 and we'll go ahead and click OK and there you can see we have the same contour yet we didn't have to create a sketch. Let's throw a little bonus in there. What if I didn't like where that led in? I'm going to edit that toolpath. Let's go over to the linking tab. I can choose an entry position. The entry position is going to be wherever my mouse, the closest point to my mouse. So if I go ahead and click right there, and now I click OK. Now you can see 
where it lead, leads in and leads out on this 2D contour changes based on that. Okay, so let's look at another toolpath. Let's say we just wanted to chamfer this one outside edge around the outside of here. How would we go about doing that? So from the 2D menu, I'm gonna choose the 2D chamfer. I'm gonna go select a tool, and again, I'm gonna go to my tutorial inch folder. And in here, we're gonna have a half inch chamfer mill. So I'm gonna grab tool number 19. We're gonna select that, click OK. And for the geometry, again, Fusion wants to grab the entire ring of geometry. In this case, I'm gonna select it once, wait for it to turn red, I'm gonna select it a second time. Now, instead of a closed ring, I want to do an open contour. So I'm gonna, instead of closed contour, I'm gonna choose open contour, and I'm gonna move my mouse to the very end, and you can see what Fusion will do, it was try to get to that point in the shortest distance possible. And that's not the selection I want. What I want is the opposite of what it has. So what I can do is select one more line by left clicking on it, and now I'm gonna move my mouse to the very end point, and I'm gonna left click on that. Now let's grab that chain. I can go ahead and hit my plus to accept that contour, and we can jump over to the passes and say that we'd like a chamfer width of, of 10 thou. And I'll go ahead and click okay, and there you see we get the 2D chamfer that just goes around that edge. Okay, so that's how you can select closed or open contours. It works for most things that, that require you to do input geometry. The third thing I'm gonna show you is again, one of those things that's not very well documented and kind of hidden. Uh, let's say that all I wanna do is select, now this wouldn't really make sense, but it just shows you how you could use some selections. Let's just say I wanted to chamfer this edge, this edge, and this edge. Those were the only three I wanted to grab. But I didn't, okay, so I'm just gonna go 2D chamfer. You'll see where I'm getting at here. We're gonna use that same half inch chamfer mill. I'm gonna go to the geometry tab. This time, instead of doing the click once, click twice, open contour, that line, that line, plus to select that, you can see that was a fair amount of steps. What we're gonna do is on the keyboard, we're gonna hold down the Alt key. We're gonna hold down Alt. I'm gonna select this line, this line, and that line. Now it might be concerning looking to see these three arrows as if it's going to make three individual lines, but when we click OK, the cam kernel is gonna chain those together and make it one individual line. So again, I'll go to my Passes tab. I'm gonna type in a .01 edge break, and I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And there you can see we chamfered just those three edges. So hopefully that helps you to learn how to do the selection techniques inside of Fusion 360 a little bit so you don't always have to create sketches to do things if the geometry isn't quite right for what you're trying to do. If you have any questions, let me know. If you found this video helpful, it'd be awesome if you'd subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.